What's up, man? <laughs> you know, y'all know I keep it real, right? So a lot of people they talk to me like, you know, what I mean, like I just best friends with Jay Z or something. Nah, that's not the case. I mean, I mean, I know him. You know, talk a lot of time. You know, I've run him a lot when I was younger, but I ain't, I ain't seen him in a long time. I watch him from afar, just like you do. I mean, but <laughs> when I first was trying to get on, me and my homie we drove all the way to Boston. Somebody said, "Yeah, but Jay Z gonna be at our club tonight." And this back when he still was, you know, getting in the van that he leave out the club. So I, I get down there from from Philly. He leaving out the back. I'm rapping to him the whole time to the car, right? He get the car. I keep it up. That's it. So I drove all the way to Boston from Philly just for that, right? When I end up getting on, a year later, I asked him, though, you remember I rapped for you in Boston? He's like, no, nah, uh, oh, I don't remember that shit. I said, damn, you know what I mean? But that's the hunger. But no, you know, the first time I met uh, Jay-Z officially, I was rapping for him. You know, my, it, it wasn't about him being Jay-Z at the time. It was about me getting on. I mean, I remember looking at his chain, though, because you got to remember, this 99. And he had the chain with the diamonds that was stuck, stuck together, the, like earrings. And I never had really seen that before. It was before Baby and all of them, you know, started getting it later on. Excuse me. No. I said, damn, look at this chain, man. This just, you know, just diamonds stuck together. I didn't really know how much something like that even cost because I never even inquired about nothing like that before. But, you know, it's just the obvious of, like, being in uh, conference rooms and stuff like that. I mean, it's just like they, he, they were doing it real big, man. So I was like, I want to be part of this, man. I mean, so that's my first, like, initial, you know what I mean? And, you know, the first day I met him, you know, I got on, whatever. I remember one time, Jay-Z was talking to me about something, and a white lady came over that was like, uh, we need to hurry up and do something. He's like, Yo, whenever you see me talking, don't you ever interrupt me while I'm talking. I'll fire you. Something. I was like, you know, cause it, but it's crazy because, you know, usually most rappers, if, if y'all notice, are, are short, short, short balls. Like, I mean, most, I see eight out of ten. He's the first rapper that's like taller than me, you know what I'm saying? So he got that, like, that, that presence. I mean, and, uh, I said, oh, yo, he on some bullshit for real. Like, I never really, you know, mind you, I wasn't really around a lot of white people like that at that point in my life. So, just seeing somebody talk to somebody. It wasn't really disrespectful, just I'm the boss. I mean, so, you know, it was, he, he easily influenced me anyway, just the way he was living. I mean, the way, you know, he carried himself. I mean, so I was on the tip, like, I never do nothing wrong to him. So, you know, I should be straight for, I mean, forever. We had a song we were supposed to do. I mean, we never did. I was disappointed in it, but, you know, I understood you know I mean, he's a superstar. I remember before I even met him, I was listening to him every day, volume three. Every day. Every day. It's gonna, there was a, gonna be a murder. Man, listen, the silver CD, we got this, this all silver on the front. That was, listen, that was my CD right there. You know I mean, but, uh, so he, I came to his house. This is when I first got signed. I came to his house. Even though I still had the young boy hood mentality, so I was like, man, I ain't, I mean, I ain't leaving out their sight, so if something come up missing, it ain't me. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> and I remember in his room, he had like a, Later on, I, I found out that it was a watch wander. I had never seen nothing like that before. I just seen the joint spinning. Like, what the, what the hell is that? The maids got the maid clothes on. Man, that's 99, man. Bob been rich for a long time. Mind you, we like in the sky. I don't know what floor he was on, but man, you look out the balcony, he's like, you in the sky. Like, I said, damn. You know what I mean? I'm just like, this is crazy. You know what I mean? I seen somebody crash their car and cry. No one care. Their car crashed because they seen Jay Z. I, mean, I remember being at Dame House. I'm playing with this pe painting. He's like, oh, oh, don't touch that. I'm like, why? It's a picture of a beach ball. That's 75000 You know what I mean? Remember the little things that you ride around like a scooter? It's like two wheels. They were like 5000 Everybody had them joints. You know what I'm saying? So it was like, there was just a lot of money around, a lot of stuff. It was like, it, 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 had, it had me, it gave me a lot of ambition. I mean, a lot of ambition. Like, if they could, didn't see somebody get colored from the hood, just that, that alone. But, you know, my mistake was this. I was a kid from the hood, no family. I mean, and I wanted to be a part of something, you know, as most young people do. So I thought that was a thing that was family. Like, I didn't look at it as a record deal. And when I seen that's not what it was, I felt some type of way. And I didn't really know how to control what I said way more than I don't now. <laughs> you know what I mean? So I said some things, you know what I mean? But that's why I said them. Because I'm like, yo, Jay-Z could have said, yo, oh, I want all your songs for the next 10 years. I'm going to give you 200000 Bet. <laughs> no questions. Like, you know what I mean? No I mean, so it's like you ain't had nobody. I was riding no matter what. I mean, because I come from absolutely nothing. So, but you know, at the end of the day, he saved my life by putting me on. Because you know, when he stamped you, you will fish you forever. You know what I'm saying forever to now. You know I mean, and it's been 18 years. You know I mean, so, I mean, the good outweigh the bad by so much. I remember one time we in 4040 Club. The cops come in like, yo, come speak to Jason Sean Carter. Some boys had his car for a year doing robberies. He didn't even know a 600 bands cool. He's like, oh, yeah? I thought they had that credit script. I said, you got a whole 600 missing. <laughs> I said, man, see, this is the life. You know what I mean? So, 
I mean, his, uh, the inspiration alone was, you know. But see, I'm the type of boy, I, I always think about how I would do things, you know what I'm saying? But everybody's not the same. You know what I'm saying? Everybody's not the same. So you can't put how you would do things on top of how somebody else should do things. I mean, I would never have 700, 500 million, none of that, because there's too many people I see that are struggling. I don't need all that. I mean, all I need is a nice TV, a chick with a fat ass, and a, you know, nice car, a couple cars. I'm done. I don't need to, you know, run the world, run the, I mean, that, but that's his thing, I'm saying, he might want to be president, I don't, that's really like he, he aiming about to become the president or something, and Beyonce, like, the perfect couple, like, I never could be politically correct that long, I'm getting locked up and everything, I, I eight months, I mean, <laughs> but I'm real, so I, I think he probably wanted to get away from us, because we was too, like, much, like, hood, and didn't understand what he, his vision that he saw, and I can understand that, I mean, you gotta get away from your surroundings, get you in trouble, I mean, he probably, his aspirations was past, he already was rich, so stuff he's aspiring to, you're like, I already got that, I'm trying to go to the next, you know I mean? But as a young person, you don't understand that. You're like, I'm loyal to you, why you not know, loyal to me? Like, you know I mean? so, but you know, you live and you learn. So, but yeah, that's, that's, that's a powerful boy right there, man. You see what he's doing, he like run the world, man. Like, like Puff is Puff, but Jay-Z, Jay-Z, man. It's like different, different, different type of thing, man. Yeah. Just blessed to know him. Then he put me in the rap. Oh, Sparks, we running this rap. That was it. You know, I was 21, I'm getting coochie off that, man. That was, <laughs> you know I mean?